What's happening everyone? It's Jeremy here with Cheat Day. With the midterm elections hopefully behind us that happened earlier this week, I decided to go all American today and I am trying Jimmy John's newest sandwich. It's called the All American Beefy Crunch. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Also, I've got some new chips from Lay's. This is uh, one of three flavors. I could not find the other two to save my life, but um, adobadas, adobadas. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm really not familiar with that word. My, uh, my Spanish is very limited. It's basically from working with Mexicans in kitchens and uh, I've never worked in a restaurant that had adobadas, anything. But anyway, this is one of three flavors from, uh, it, it's for the FIFA World Cup 2022. I'm pretty sure that's soccer. I'm sure some of you probably wanna punch me in the head right now for not knowing. But come on, soccer or football in the rest of the world, it's just not that popular in America. I apologize, I'm not really into team sports anyways. But, uh, Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. Some people think that I talk a little too much, so I'm gonna try to move on here, and let's check out this all-American beefy crunch. And stay tuned till the end, because I have a surprise little thing that I picked up when I uh, was checking out at Walmart the other day. A new dessert that looks really intriguing. So what we have here is a uh, the eight inch French loaf with, as they say, hand sliced roast beef, American cheese. Sorry to say that with a little bit of disdain, but I, I think provolone is the standard cheese. I'm sure they did American to go for the whole American theme, but American cheese for me is really only good when it's melted. I think it works fantastically on Philly cheesesteaks. I think it worked fantastically with hamburgers. But the, tr the real name of American cheese, I believe is, what do they call it? It's uh, proce pasteurized processed cheese. It is very processed. Food coloring usually makes the orange color. I'm not the biggest fan when it's cold. That being said, unfortunately, that's the cheese that goes on the sandwich. You also have lettuce, uh, pickles, a tangy, as they say. Actually, they say, I believe, a delicious, uh, deliciously tangy Thousand Island sauce, crispy onion strings, pickles, lettuce, and onion. Let's check this out. Uh, and just for your... <laughs> Trying not to be too negative with the uh, rising prices that are happening in America over the last, you know, specifically year, couple years. This sucker came in at just over ten dollars for an eight-inch sandwich. Over ten dollars for Jimmy John's. I remember when Jimmy John's was cheap. Everything is getting expensive. There's these little pies that you can get at Walmart. They're fifty cents. They've got like blueberry, apple pie, pumpkin pie. They're up to 75 cents. Well, you could say, well, Jeremy, that's just a quarter. Well, 50 to 75, that's a 50% raise in food cost. That's, that's insane. So anyway, off my soapbox now. Let's try out this All-American Beefy Crunch. I think I completely missed all the fried onions, which are giving it the crunch taste. There we go. I love contrasting textures. It's pretty good. I'm used to just mayonnaise being on their sandwich, but the um, they're deliciously tangy, as they say. Thousand Island, it works well with this. This is actually 
It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, typically, you know, you're just going to get some mayo with provolone cheese, and that always works really well. But this, this works. American cheese. It just doesn't, I don't know. It just does not do anything for me. I'm just not a big fan of American cheese when it's cold. Like I said, I think it's a great, a great cheese to use if you can technically call it cheese. I guess you can call it cheese, but I'll say processed cheese. It's a really good processed cheese um, product to use when you heat it up. Uh, yeah, it, it works really great with, with uh, like I said, hamburgers, and uh, Philly cheesesteaks, it's fantastic. But honestly, this sandwich is pretty good. It's, uh, is it worth $10? I don't know, maybe. Let's see how, how full I get when I eat the whole thing. Let's check out these Lay's, these adobadas. Now, I actually did some research to figure out this word. And I saw many different sources saying it was Spanish for marinade. I also saw the word refers to meat. Anyone from the the Hispanic community, please let me know in the comments if you know exactly what this word represents. What what's its meaning? Is it is it a marinade? Is it a you know it's supposed to be a, a typical Mexican uh, flavor profile? I have no idea. So I apologize. But with a sandwich, for me at least. I've got to have some chips. So I've, I've had this bag. I think I picked this thing up like a month ago. There's always so much stuff I have that I bought like a month ago or so that I haven't reviewed yet because quite honestly, I don't want to have a cheat day every day because I want to eat healthy throughout the rest of the week. So that being said, I apologize if I am reviewing things that aren't exactly brand spanking new. Ooh, I can smell them already. I'm getting like a tomatoey. Huh. Those are pretty good. Lime. Like um I don't know, almost like a tomatoey Mm, sauce base with spices and lime. They're uh, they're they're good. They're really good. The uh, the other two flavors that they came out with are, I believe, jalapeno popper and carnitas street tacos. I would love to try both of those. Let me know in the comments if you have tried these or of the other any other new Lay's. FIFA edition. Chips. This is a good lunch. That's actually, this is really good. Sorry, I'm really trying not to talk with my mouth full. This would be so much easier if I could talk while I was doing something else because I usually have too much crap to say. Um, the first restaurant I ever opened up was a deli in downtown Littleton, Colorado. I have a long history with sandwiches. I My, my first job in the industry uh, was at Subway. I ended up working there for six years and really climbed the ranks. But anyway, back to my my first location, I ended up with 16 school contracts. Everyone loved my sandwiches so much. I hate to say this, but 
Subway almost taught me how to do things better or like what not to do. Uh, I was using boar head meat and cheeses, uh, doing everything fresh, baking my own bread. I ended up getting 16 schools, uh, contracts to cater for 16 schools. Bought a brand new uh, Astro van at the time. Yeah, it was a nightmare. It, it, I bit off way more than I could chew. And this was at the same time I was opening my my next restaurant, which was a pizzeria. But anyway, um, I love sandwiches. Uh, I absolutely love sandwiches. Jimmy John's to me, you know, they're they're fine. Uh, the like like I said at the beginning of this video, I always looked at Jimmy John's as being a good value sandwich. Uh, you know, everything's getting more expensive now. This thing was over $10 on its own. But, you know, I would take them over Subway any day. Subway has changed a lot since I was there. I'm not gonna bash anyone or anything. Well, I'm gonna try not to, but um, if you want quality, don't go to Subway. Hate to say that, sorry. But hey, if you, if you like it, you know, go for it. Once in a while, it's fun to eat something that's not exactly high quality, but uh, I still like their spicy Italian, but that's that's about it. Um, I also have, for dessert, Reese's peanut butter cups with Reese's puffs, like the cereal. I'm guessing those are the cereal. I saw these at the checkout line in Walmart and I, you know, how can I not, you know, pass that up? So let's try those. Today I am drinking Colorado Natives Winterfest. It's fitting because I am a Colorado native and it did snow a little bit this morning. One kind of, I don't want to be mean, but stupid thing about this can of beer, I've been looking at it I have no idea what it is. It just says Winterfest. Is it an ale? Is it a lager? I have no idea. I'm guessing that it's a lager. Only one way to find out. Yeah, it's a lager. Wouldn't it be funny if that was actually an ale? Pretty sure that's a lager. Um, yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's try these Reese's peanut butter puff. Well, it says just Reese's puffs. These sound good. You guys ever have the, uh, what is it? It's the potato chip big cup Reese's peanut butter cups. Personally, excuse me. I thought they were incredible. My wife wouldn't even try a bite of it. Yes, it's a giant peanut butter cup. Well, not giant, but it's a it's one of their big cups with pieces of uh, potato chips. Talk about awesome texture. You get this nice crunch in the middle. It works. It's this salty, sweet, just heavenly, blissful treat. So this is technically a big cup. Right away, I got some balls in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry, that, uh, that came out wrong. <laughs> uh, right away, I got some puffs, Reese's puffs in my mouth. It's just I could tell the texture. <laughs> <laughs> rolling around on my tongue. See, that just sounds worse. I'm just gonna stop right now. Um, these are really good. <laughs> Doesn't quite look like the picture. Uh, it shows <laughs> the balls. God. I'm such a man child sometimes. I can't help it, people. I apologize. <laughs> oh, God. Um, it shows the puffs in the big cup, but as you can see, you can't see any puffs. Uh, <laughs> this is stupid. 
Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, this is really, really good. These are awesome. Holy cow. These are, these are incredible. This was a really good cheat day. Holy cow. This is one of those days where I'm really, really hungry. I had a one third beef patty yesterday, uh, three eggs and two pieces of bacon for the entire day. Total carnivore. Uh, so today I was really excited. I pretty much got to Jimmy John's right when they opened and got this sandwich because uh, I was about to lose my mind with hunger. I'm gonna give everything two thumbs up. I recommend all of it. Um, as, as much as I'm not the biggest fan of cold American cheese, I'm not gonna pull it off. I'm just gonna leave it on there and I'm gonna finish the sandwich and it because it's, it's really good. These chips, they're banging with flavor. I can definitely tell there's some lime action going on, but it's not overwhelming. Certain chips that can have some lime can just, the acid can just eat up your mouth over time. And I don't think that these are gonna do that. I like them a lot. These uh, Reese's Cup with Reese's Puffs. I don't know why, guys, I'm having such a tough time with this one. Um, Try them out. Really try them out. Uh, I can't recommend them enough. I was gonna make a inappropriate joke, but you know, I decided I'm gonna rise above and be an adult for once, so I'm not gonna go there. Thank you so much for watching and enduring my insanity today. If you got anything out of this, please give me a like and hit that subscribe button. Help me get to that next level of subscribership, if you will. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.